Well, my family's been here since before the Civil War, but I'm still 100% Irish, uh, which is because my people moved, they got off the boat and they moved to central Massachusetts to these farming communities and became farmers in you know, Southbridge and Sturbridge and Worcester and Millbury and, and worked in these mill towns and then proceeded to marry other 100% uh, Irish immigrants. And this continued uh, right through to my parents. Um, and that means that I'm 100% Irish. It also means I'm dangerously inbred. And, um, and I was the first, uh, you know, my generation, I'm the, one of the first ones to go out and get crazy. I got jungle fever and married a, a woman who was half Irish, a quarter Welch, you know. <laughs> What's he doing? This is crazy. Uh, a quarter Scott. So that's me getting nuts, you know. Um, uh, and, and she's not Catholic. And so, um, but that's, that's, and so my children will benefit from actually some genetic variation. They may have, they have a chance. I don't. I've gone back to Ireland. I've talked to, I've spoken with Irish people and they say, oh no, you know, my father was Spanish and my grandfather was French and then, but my mother, you know, and I think, no, 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 I left the island. I haven't been here since you know, James Buchanan was president, and, uh, and I'm still, and now I come back, and I'm still 100% Irish, because we have no imagination when it comes to dating, none. It's all, ah, oh, Fitzgerald, I'm O'Banion, let's do it, you know, it's the same thing over and over and over and over again.